we might need a gap fill here before we can break all time highs. What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're talking about the trades we gave you guys on Friday that made massive profits. I hope you guys bought the dip as always. And then we're going over in case you missed those trades, we're going over some new trades for this week. So stay tuned guys, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Let's jump into it. So as you guys can see, we're gonna end this month in pretty much the biggest green candle we've had, um, possibly all time. This is a huge candle. Look at this candle, it went the low of the candle is 13,212 and the high of the candle is $19,949. So that is pretty crazy. Uh, the all time high that we have on this chart is 20,093. So literally right there, we've tested that um, all time high probably about two times now. And, uh, and we're still there. So that has been a crazy, crazy run, guys. Insane. So the first thing we're going to do um, today on this video is do a recap from the trades that we spoke about um, on Friday, right? So we gave you guys a bunch of different trade setups Friday um, that we're watching and that we're looking to take over the weekend. We're going to tell you what the results on those trade setups are if you did take them. So um, let's go ahead and take a look over here. Here, these are the results of the trade setups that we spoke about on Friday's video. If you guys took any of these, congrats, because every single trade hit and every single trade made profit. So you guys can see here, our big winner of the weekend was Bitcoin. We told you guys, um, that we were taking entries at $17,200 uh, going long. And if you guys took that order, uh, that ran all the way to 19,900 today, which would be around 15.6% profits. But if you trade with the leverage like we do and used 10 X leverage, then you made yourself a whopping 156% profit on that move, guys. Let's take a look at that move. So that's this here today. <clears throat> As you guys can see down here, you would have been buying around this area right here, which was on Friday. We hit that on Friday. We also hit that uh, on Saturday. That's when we broke out and then we just been riding up ever since, right? So 156% profits on the Bitcoin trade. If you guys took it from Friday's video, congrats. Um, the next trade was Ethereum. We did 90% profit. If you use five times leverage, um, we told you guys the breakout entries we were looking at were $520 and it's gone up to around as high as $615 um, since Friday. We, we took both the Bitcoin and Ethereum trade um, and we made lots of profits on those. So if you took any of these two trades, congrats. It's 156% profit on Bitcoin, 90% profit on Ethereum. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, we told you guys on Friday, breakout entries were 280. It's run to about 317. That's 65 percent profit using 5x leverage. Um, Litecoin, another big one. We told you guys we were taking entries at 73.50. It ran up to 88.50. That's 100 percent profit using 5x leverage. Um, XRP. This is was our second best uh, trade of the weekend. Uh, we told you guys we were entering above 55 cents and it ran up to 68 cents, which was 115% profit using 5X leverage. Uh, Chainlink, we told you guys enter at 13. It ran to about 1440 using 5X leverage. That's about 50% profit. Um, Tezos, we told you guys that enter at 220. It's run up to about 255. 
about which is 75% profit using 5x leverage and then neo we told you guys $18 was the entry it's run up to about 1880 which is a 22% profit if you use five times leverage and again all of these we we only trade with leverage that's why we're telling you what it what the result is with leverage um, if you guys want to know more about trading with leverage and about the exchange we use to trade with leverage um, you can check out our Bybit tutorials and you can check out uh, in the description we have the um, the Bybit uh, link in there and we also have a code for you guys to when you register and when you make your first deposit um, to get about $600 worth of deposit bonuses. So just check that out in the description. All right, guys, so let's jump into the trades that we're looking at this week. If you guys took any of Friday's trades over the weekend, congrats, you guys made massive, massive profits. If you did not take any of the trades, then no worries, because we're about to give you guys more trades for this week, right? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go over Bitcoin and give you guys some trades for the week. So hopefully you guys listen this time because we made a lot of profits. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin. As you guys can see, we've had a bounce over the weekend all the way back up to fresh new highs for the year. Um, we almost hit that 20K. We just made it to $19,949. So we're right, right there, right? Um, of course we got rejected and you know we're fighting our way back up right now at this point uh so right now though there's not really a lot of plays to make here um the plays we've been doing here once we crossed 19k was entering at 19 uh and writing it up to almost 20 and then um the newest trade that we've been uh doing here is above 19.5 right 19.5 k and uh th those are just little scalps so so i mean what's next right um if you're looking here you see that the rsi is now in sync with the price action right here we go so that's going straight up those are all higher highs right these are all higher highs so um, right now, RSI and price action is looking good. Um, so we're not too worried about that drop anymore. Now, of course, we could always still have a divergence uh, start popping up later on. But right now, we're pretty good. Uh, we are getting back into oversold territory. I mean, I'm sorry, overbought territory which is uh, normal because we're up to all time highs. Um, so it could, and then plus the re this resistance we're currently at, we could get another small pullback uh, before testing that in 20K again, right? Um, so that's something you have to keep in mind and you just have to continue to use, be aggressive with your stops, be aggressive with your trail stops. Uh, and make sure that you're taking profit at every opportunity because if you're not you're gonna get caught in one of these little volatility drops and uh, end up you know your profits will end up turning into loss losing trades like your winning trades quickly turn into losing trades if you're not taking profits so this is why taking profits is so crucial this is why uh, aggressively using your stop losses and moving them up into trail stops is so crucial in moves like this especially scalps like this because you want to make sure you're taking profits at all times so um, the trade setups that we're looking at here right now there's not too much to do um, but what we're watching is entries above that 19,500 range um, and we're only going to be using very tight stops here. Probably stops around $50 stops. Um, 
and we're looking at $100 uh, take profit zones, right? So we're looking to take profit as, at 19.6, 19.7, 19.8, basically get out before that 19.9, which is where the rejection is. If we do surpass that 20K, then we have, we're setting up entries above that 20,000 for new all-time high breakout entries. Um, so I expect a lot, a lot of volatility up at 20K if we do pass it. So you guys got to be very, very careful. You could use 50 to $100 stops on that one. Um, the next entry we're looking at here currently in Bitcoin is probably going to be um, entries above. Well, I'm sorry. Entries back down at the um, like around. Let's see. It's probably going to be entries back down at the 19K level. Um, that's currently support. So uh, that's currently the next spot that we're looking at. Um, and now we do have this ascending support here. And you guys can see that the support entry is currently um, playing a part here on this current move, right? Um, so that is a support that we're watching. And that's right about that 19K level. Uh, it's a little bit above it. It looks like it's right around that 19 uh 200 area probably um so you can play that support but we're we're looking more at the 19,000 support right now so um so those are the three entries that we're looking at for bitcoin right now those are three different entries we just gave you guys um and that's kind of what we're playing as you guys can see here and on the short term as well a bull flag is starting to set up here and the last thing we want to look at is uh that we want to talk about is bitcoin futures as you guys can see here it closed down on friday so we closed down at that 17k range on friday and then over the weekend we shot back up right so we have this gap up to basically 18 to 90. let me see where's the, where's the open here uh opened up at 18 275 the low is 18 275 yeah so um so we have a gap up here uh 1875 all the way down to basically this 17k range so that's something we have to keep in mind and be aware of uh is basically a two thousand dollar gap fill that we would have to fill um and it's you know the rules on this is not that it's always going to fill it but it just likes to fill it you know what i mean so maybe it's gonna be before we can break that new that new high so what i'm thinking that we might have to have a gap fill before breaking all-time highs now it doesn't mean that's what's gonna happen it's just to you know just so that you guys know what's going on and just with my my time in bitcoin my experience in it my experience has been that bitcoin likes to fill gaps um so this could be we might need a gap fill here before we can break all-time highs now not saying that that's what's gonna happen but that might be what needs to happen so don't be surprised to see another drop back down to 17,000 to 17 to 16,000 um, due to the fact that we do have a gap here in the futures chart um, that could lead us down to a gap fill before bouncing back up. So that's not, that's really nothing to worry about. That gives us another opportunity to uh, take better entry positions and make some more money. All right, so next we're looking at Ethereum here. As you guys can see, we got the huge bounce um, over the weekend from that 494 level, right? So we spoke about this on over the weekend. Um, and even though 500 was a level you could use uh, for a breakout, we wanted to use that 520 level. Um, so that's the level that we used for the breakout um, and it was it came out amazing we made great profits on that so hopefully you guys grabbed uh, that trade uh, currently what we're what we're looking at here we you can see that it, we went as high as 614 to 613 and 614 right um, 
so just about that 16 615 range uh and then we're currently back down to six dollars so it's 600 i'm sorry um so the entry here is 600 that is an entry however you have to you have to catch it on the way back up you know you see how it keeps dropping underneath um so you're gonna have to be playing it you know on the bounce not really when it's just sitting here because uh since this candle you see how this candle is actually pushing down um it might not it might just keep going down and it'll stop you out from an entry right so this is not how i'm gonna enter it like i'm waiting for it to go underneath 600 and then if it bounces back that's when i want to enter the next entry here would be above 620 um that would be where i have my next breakout entry right and that would be a new high so that would come with a lot of momentum and in a break of 620 we could see a push possibly up to 640 650 right and a break of that then that'll probably shoot us straight up to that 700 dollar range so that's kind of what we're looking for here with ethereum um if it does go down uh then what we're looking at is probably that 580 range for a pullback um but as long as it doesn't come i don't think it'll come way down here but if there is a correction that's probably the, the first level that we're going to be watching um other than that then those other two levels that we spoke about are the levels we're looking at for trades right now in ethereum um next bitcoin cash um as you guys can see here we had that beautiful uh, pop back up it came right down to our the level these levels that we had pointed out here the current setups that we're looking at here we'd be looking at entries pullback entries back at the 300 range that's the first that's the pullback level that we'd be looking at um if we're looking at breakouts then we're looking at the 320 range so um 300 and 320 are the two trades that we would be playing here in a bitcoin cash next is the litecoin litecoin so if we're looking at pullbacks and the same thing we're looking at this 80 dollar range um that's where we would want to enter on a pullback um if we were looking up for a breakout entry then we're probably looking above this current high right uh which was 88.50 so we'd be looking above 88.50 for a breakout entry and then we're looking you know to hit the previous highs here which was 92 94 um and then beyond that we're looking to hit 100 right so those would probably be our three targets there um if we uh on any of these entries that we're looking at here um that is litecoin next we're, let's take a look at xrp so you guys can see xrp has been running very very nicely the last couple weeks um here we're going to be looking at pullback trades back to that 60 cent range um this is where we'd be looking for pullbacks uh beyond that would be 55 cents and beyond that that 50 cent range is uh, a big big support there um and on breakouts we're probably looking at that 65 is still what we're watching um so above 65 we're taking trades uh and you're looking to take profits at basically you know around that 6650 um and that 68 and then 70 range uh those are probably the three different areas we're looking to take profit you can see here there's a, a bull flag here so it's only a matter of time before we we see this breakout right and then that next breakout is going to be 70 cents so above above this last high this previous high above 68 and then above 70 those are the next two breakouts uh, uh, after that 65. so 65 there's a lot more consolidation there so if you want if you want the safer breakouts then i would suggest those other levels um after that we're looking at chain link chain link you can see it's currently at that 14 dollar range we're looking here for breakouts above that 1450 
um, and if we do break out that 1450, we're looking to hit that $15, $15.50 and $16 range. Um, on pullbacks, we're looking back to this $13 entry uh, that we spoke about the other day on Friday. Um, and that's pretty much the only pullback level we're looking at. If we go beyond that, then we'd be looking at that $12 range. Um, so that's the trade setups we're looking at there with Chainlink um, in Tezos. We are looking at the same $2, 220 range for pullbacks. Um, that's still that same range. 230 is a minor support there. So you could also use that range. And um, and then for breakouts, we're looking above 250 is where we want to enter. Uh, if you want to be extra safe, then that you could do above this previous high right here, which is a daily high, um, which is 255. So you could enter above 255 if uh, you want to be safer. If not, you could use that 250 for a little bit of a higher risk, but higher reward there. Um, next, we got NEO. So uh, taking a look at NEO, you can see it, it's moved up a little bit. It's been slowly grinding up, but it hasn't been moving that much, but it's slowly grinding its way back up here. Um, we're looking at entries probably above 1850 is the, um, the riskier one because it's consolidation there. So if you want to, you know, be less risky, uh, $19 should have more momentum that bounce over that, uh, which could lead you up to 20, 21, 22 range. Um, and for pullbacks, then you're probably looking back down to $17 and 16.50 as those pullback entries um that's pretty much it for neo all right guys that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video today as you guys know we do every single monday we, we tell you the top trade setups that we're watching and that we're looking to make some profits for you guys the question of the day is going to be what are the entries that i'm looking for um, in Bitcoin. What are my what are my uh, entries in Bitcoin? Make sure to like and subscribe, drop the comment, drop the answer for the question of the day, hit 20 likes, and then it will trigger the giveaway. Thank you guys. See you on the next one. Peace and love.